riding through to the next round of the cup, you must be delighted after that. Yeah, um, it was a, it was an interesting game. Um, obviously, we've set the boys out. We set a task at the beginning of the week. We had obviously two quarterfinals this week uh, with the under under nine teams uh, going to South End Wednesday in a National League quarterfinal, and then obviously the quarterfinal again today in the in the Suburban uh, League Cup uh, against a really good team as well in Bromley. And um, we set them a task at the beginning of the week, both groups, and said, look, two quarterfinals. End of the week, we want to be in two semis. And um, honestly, like I cannot fault any of them. I think they were excellent. Wednesday, the performance was outstanding. Uh, again today, slightly different. Uh, a very tight game, very tense game. Um, a very mature performance. You know, at times having to, you know, pick, stay in our shape a little bit and wait for the right moments to press. And I thought the boys did it excellently. And I think we tweaked a couple of things at half time. And uh, yeah, like to a man. And, and I said to them. Um, you know, when we before the penalty, said, "Look, football's a funny way. When you're doing well and you're you're creating your own luck and you're working hard, it, it tends to respect that, and and uh, that trend continues. Uh, so go in with the penalties, be confident with that, and ultimately, you know, you'll get your rewards. And I think, you know, they did that. Everyone that took a penalty, you know, brave, excellent, you know, and they did it. And and we said we said during the during the huddle, we said, look, Finley will come good. He owes me a couple of penalty saves after a couple of years, but." He'll come good. He'll make he'll make some big saves and big moments, and uh, he did that. And yeah, we were through to the next round, semi final, the National League Cup after Wednesday, semi final, the Suburban Cup. Now, now the it's about getting back, focusing in the league. You know, we've g gained gained um, like we've gained up on sorry the, uh, the 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 top of the table, and um, you know we want to just keep building this momentum and keep riding the wave as it were. Yeah, it's like you say that because in these cups, you know, going through that's real momentum burden. And obviously, we're eighth mm. right now, so do you think we can really use this to push on towards the end of the season? Yeah, hundred percent. And we we spoke before the game about uh, that sort of coming after Christmas and almost like that second part of the season where it's really important to keep building momentum. Obviously, the first part of the year we we didn't have many home games, which meant that we dropped behind, you know, the likes of Welling and Bromley in the league because they had played sort of five, six games more than us. And uh, we've managed to get those games in now and we're, we're right up there and uh, it's going to go right down to the wire. And I think having this momentum now, like this group, for example, is eight wins from eight in its last game, scored loads of goals, conceded barely any. Um, so that's brilliant. And, and building that momentum now to carry us through to the sort of last couple of months of the season, 100%. And, and that's, that's, that's what it's all about. And like I said, they've, they've been excellent in training. You know, we tried to look after them this week with getting the recovery right and, and so on and so on. And I think you see at the end of the game, you know, the good thing for me was you looked at Bromley and their huddle and there were players off their feet. You looked at our boys and despite some of them, you know, were tired, but they were still there. And I think that's that's a real credit to them to look after themselves, especially in what's been quite a big week for them. Yeah, because that's what it's about, isn't it? Because obviously coming to a place like Bromley, especially a, a ground where the yeah. National League team actually play, it's all about digging in and getting these kind of results because after night it was still nil-nil. But, you know, I think it's more about a mental side really, isn't it? Yeah, and look, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We said to the, I said to the boys after the game, I said, look, at the end of the day, lads, it's a game of football. You've won seven of the last seven. You're used to this. This is what you do. You're good players. This is this is you. And I, I said to them, look, pick a spot. If you if you pick a spot and you uh, focus on your connection, you know, and it goes in, brilliant. If it doesn't, we'll go home. We'll go to sleep. We'll wake up tomorrow. It's a new day. We'll prepare for the next game. And I think it was important to take that pressure out of it because. You know, in reality, it's one game in a long season. Uh, it's one game in a, a career and, uh, you know, it's not going to define them. Um, but then at the same time, you get the big moments like Finley did and that can. So I think there was nothing to lose going into penalties. I said, I would have loved the extra time because I think we go and absolutely blow them away in extra time. And they're a good side and a good manager who's got to set up, you know, in a really good way. And I always say that they're the most similar to us, uh, of the teams that we face. And um yeah, no, nah, listen, I thought the boys were excellent and, and they thoroughly deserve to uh, to enjoy this moment now and, and push forward into next week where we've got another double double game week. So, yeah, I'm sure that we'll do our due diligence. We'll focus on the teams next up. We'll make sure we recover. We get back right. This game's done now. You know, there's no point over-celebrating. Let's focus on the next game and keep building this momentum. It must have been really, well, a confidence builder for them. Like you said, to have Finley has been like in and around with the Geordie fans to show yeah. this season for the penalties. Yeah, no, look, 100%. And I think Jasper was a big part on Wednesday when he played when he played for the under-19s um, in the National League. And like 100%, like you said, they've, uh, the, the confidence they can take and the experience they can take from being around the first team every single day and, and 
you know, being around Jordy and, and Dave and the gaffer and, and everyone else, even the players, uh, they can definitely bring that into this group. Even though they're the same age, they can definitely bring this in, bring that back into this group and instill that in us. And like I said, he's, he's come good and, and fair play to him because, you know, he's, he's not played a lot of football this year. Um, because he's been utilising the first team, he's been such, played such a big role within the first team to support Geordie. Uh, and obviously, while Jasper's been out on loan, you know, and, and to come good off of the back of not really having loads of games, I think it's a real testament to him, his character and, and his mentality. So, no, full credit to Finley. And yeah, we want to just keep building now. And it's about finishing the season as strong as we can. Cheers, Ryan. No worries.